Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So in this video, you will see Moodle have released its own uh, new version that is Moodle 5.1. So we'll try installing this on my hosting server. Okay, so this is 5.0. Earlier we have in, uh, installed this one and see the what are all the changes we have. But uh, in 5.0 we don't had much changes around the, the directory structure, but in 5.1 they have mainly focus around the directory structure okay so you see here uh, so restructure Moodle code directory so if I come to see this particular ticket you will find they have introduced a public uh, directory so most of the code will be added inside a public directory and now your demo will be like uh, the main domain whatever we will have okay we will see this in a detail and then the public then your page will appear from here okay so like this will have have okay so let me quickly come to see uh, I am going to create a subdomain here on my so so I have current instance here lms.avlogs uh, that is on 5.0 that means 5.0 so let me come to that and now you see URL there is no public is being added here and if I come to see the environment details you'll find this is 5.0 and now we have 5.1 okay so I am going to create a subdomain here let's say model 5.1 so let me make it 52 okay so in model 52 blocks.co.t will be 5 instance okay so I'm going to create this okay and this has given me this particular directory okay so I can make a copy of it here Now I can go directly to this particular directory structure so that I can upload the file. So I will go to file manager. Uh, this is my instance. I have well now coming to public uh, HTML and here I can see that directory that is Moodle 52. This is the one. Correct. So if I come to open this one model 52.evlogs.co.in So nothing is here as of now. But here I will upload all my files. So I have already downloaded or you can download here. How you can download. So model. If you come to site here inside then under downloads you'll be able to download from here okay so this is the latest release in case you have to go for older you can check uh, build options okay so this is 5.1 so i already have downloaded one so i don't think it is yeah so this is the one so i am going to upload this here So let me try doing drag and drop. Yes. So let me upload this one. Now I have to create a database here. Okay. So this is database manage. Now this is here I can put my uh, DB name let's say 3 uh, 15 October and this is username and the password let's say this okay 
so I am going to make a note here so this is db name this is username and of course it will be coming up with uh, the prefix here okay and this is the password I am going to use and now I am click on create here okay so db is created now and you will find here the file is also uploaded so I will extract here extract this one okay uh, folder name so simply here so I will press the put the dot there and extract <coughs> now I will also have to create a Moodle data yes so the directory come up here in my case so I will delete this Yeah, so I can also delete this one. I can select all these and move one step back. Move where I have to move. Oh, here. Okay, so now I, I have everything here within model 52. And if I come to refresh my site here. I, ideally I should see the model installation yeah that is coming fine here okay so this is very simple step and now you see uh, the restructuring you will find here restructure model code directory so here in the URL you will find the public is being added so earlier it was not there with the model <coughs> sorry got it now I can go for installation but before that I need to have a model data so I will go, I am going to create here model data model 52 okay so this is my directory Okay, so I will have to set a permission here. It should be called right. Okay, so I am also making note here so that it will be required here. Okay, so now if I refresh this, you will find here some information. The full address of Moodle will be access this address. Okay. And use public address here so like this you'll have information now if you come to see the web address you will find like this okay so your site will be running here slash public but yeah this can be managed uh, with uh, if you come to uh, update the path uh, in the hosting okay mapping thing then it will be adjusted to this particular one itself okay so public you can remove but by default it remain like this got it so now I can see here okay so on the public I have model data here and I have model 52 in parallel got it so now I am going to uh, paste this particular one so that this is the correct path in my uh, data direct so this is model data this is your code base okay so I will click on next my SQL is fine next and here DB details I will have to put so this is username uh, this is uh, sorry this is DB name and this is credence oh, sorry for the password one and MDL underscore is fine I will click on next okay so now so once you click here after putting all the details you will find this issue okay so incorrect www root in config.php so now i am coming here on my code directory yeah and you will find here the config.php and you will see the public is being added here okay and yes this is must in case you are not 
I will also check uh, in the next video so how you can remove the public from the URL but for now I am going to move ahead with this particular itself okay so this is giving error how will we fix then then there is a configuration here you see here double double root and in public okay so I will have to make this configuration as a true and I will have to save this again if you come to refresh you will see your risk will be gone from here okay and continue and what I see uh, the MySQL MariaDB so the database type you need to change config to MySQL to MariaDB yes so MariaDB is required here and I am going to save reload okay so this is something uh, you will find here everything is okay then you will be able to click on continue here okay so here so earlier it was, take, it was taking more time in installation but here with the model 5.2 it is very quick so you'll be able to see in a few seconds we'll have this installation completed okay so you can wait here i think more than it will not going to take more than one minute So this is done now. I can click here on the continue. So now I can set here my admin credential. Let's say uh, uh, this is admin user. I'm going to put my email ID. Next. site full name let's say just enroll by point to demo okay so like this you can put here you can choose uh, here uh, the time zone okay so based on your uh, preferences you can go for but even if you don't want at the time of installation that is also fine So this is and support email I am going to add mine on. Yes, so you are done with the installation and I can skip here. Okay, so this is all fine. So you see here like this. You can add courses. Credit, so it's even display. And here you can go for adding a question bank okay so this is another issue or uh, the many user have raised on the on the Google basically and they have locked lots of issue here so you'll find the issue like this while creating uh, this so you can also fix this one all right so you see here uh, this uh, structure you can see observe and this throw error so you can find here okay and you also see here the issue is category okay so reply so this is question bank so you will find here like question got it so the question bank issue you will find if you add here uh, it will be added but it will not be redirected properly okay so you see is still here but if you go back you will find I have added your name <coughs> now how will we be able to fix this so for fixing this you will have to make sure your server system path 
properly uh, here properly configured so i am going to configure this i guess oh, so this is the correct one and save yeah so this is the correct one now if you come to see the server and ad hoc uh, task you will find here these are the pending so this is the one okay so one you find here this is pending so if i run all con continue and i can see this is success okay i can go back from here i can also run this particular one also okay so now if you come and refresh this page this error will be gone okay from the next time if you add question bank 2 it will be redirected properly okay like this got it clear so this is how you will be able to quickly install Moodle 5.1 and the same step can be followed on any of the server even you can you have ec2 instances you have azure you have so in my case this is just normal uh, shared hosting or hostinger in case we have vps you can also go for in case we have hostinger the steps remain the same okay so currently you see your main site slash public everything is running on the public now in the coming video we'll see how you'll be able to remove this particular uh, slash public so that it remains as earlier so even the if you check the code base you will find here so this is code and see admin is outside leave is outside and then so this was just a backup one so i guess nothing it's empty one okay so so you you can see here this is public so within this you will find everything here now the configuration file we have here on this particular directory itself then let's see so this is configuration file okay then under public you have everything here so this is directory a structural change okay so in the coming video we'll also see how, what are all the newly stops have been added with model 5.0 okay so that's it from this video hopefully you'll enjoy this and you have will not facing any issue at the time of installation thank you thank you for watching and have a great day ahead